previously on Project Zomboid. I've almost run out of shotgun shells, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to take them all the way down to the crossroads where I wanted to do the burn. Fire off a few more shots. We'll get them as far south as we can go, uh, just so you guys can see what we're dealing with here. Yes, I know it's very scary, JT. I would be terrified too. Here we go. Here's the crossroads. Alright, so a few more shots. And bombs away. Please tell me that worked. <laughs> oh god, there we go. Good. I think this is uh, the most zombies I've ever had on fire <laughs> at one point. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Hello everyone, my name is Nomis, and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. We are picking up here where we last left off. Uh, well, actually just a little bit after where we last left off, because we are now back at base after our burning and looting session, our rather successful looting session, where we found some more of the materials we were looking for, uh, like a couple steel pipes, we found a few katanas, uh, a couple other melee weapons, um, yeah, so all, all in all a successful looting run and uh, the burning went fairly well. We were able to drag down quite a few zombies down to the crossroads. But we are back at base now and in our pack dog I have uh, some materials here for us to uh, finish crafting a few of the projects we've been waiting to complete for a while. The first is putting a sink onto our shower that we made a few episodes ago. So we did find a bar of soap uh, that we have with us right here. Uh, so let's go ahead and add a sink to our empty makeshift shower. All we'll need is a lumber stack, 12 nails, bath towel, soap, our hammer saw, and of course the makeshift shower. So let's go ahead and start the episode off by adding a sink to this shower. Awesome. There we go. Looking pretty good. Oh, I guess I already had a lumber stack and bath towel up here. Forgot to place those out here. Oh well, we'll take those with us. Uh, so that looks pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So it's empty. Can we fill this up then? I don't know. I have to look into that. So we now have a bath or a, uh, a shower with sink. That's pretty cool. Uh, the next thing I want to do, because we also picked up an empty IBC while we were down at the storage units last episode, is uh, upgrade the second empty IBC storage unit that we have. Let's go ahead and pick up this empty IBC. We're going to make ourselves another tower here. So upgrade IBC storage into the tower. All we'll need is our empty IBC, 12 nails, 6 planks. We've done this before, obviously, so let's just quickly get this one done. Nice. Awesome. We have so much capacity for storing water now. So cool. We've got our water tower, we've got those IBC storage units, our fish tanks, obviously, and then our well back in here. If I... Oh, I'm behind a fence. There we go. I also added in a, a fence for our little driveway there. Uh, yeah, our well back here. So, next on the list of things to do is to make our bellows for our uh, blast furnace. So I think all we need now is the bellows and some red bricks. Now, we didn't find a pallet of red bricks. Uh, I think there is a pallet over in the warehouse near us, but we have enough red clay. We'll just make our own red bricks. So, to make the leather required for the bellows, we're going to need a couple acorns. We can use acorns or dog poop to uh, make the leather from the dried furs. And we need a bucket as well. I'm not sure if we have any more buckets. I did use our last one to make another... Uh, I could empty this one out. Yeah, let's just make some tannin in, in here. There we go. Uh, I did use our other extra wooden bucket to make another thing of concrete for the blast furnace. Uh, and I've moved our tanning uh, supplies up here. So we've got our tanning rack in with our weaving items. 
and I've got uh, our dried fur and raw fur over here on the shelf but I also have some dried fur in our pack dog so we'll go ahead and make some leather there uh, we're gonna have to fill this uh, up with water again make some more tannin forgot about that we'll just go over to our rain collector barrels no sense in using drinkable water so we'll fill the wooden bucket with water like so and then where's our bucket 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 there we go make some more tannin and let's make some more leather there we go perfect uh, we might as well fill this up again with water in case we need to do more plastering later on Looks like we are thirsty. We're going to have to grab some more water, too. We'll do that in a second. We got these soaked acorns. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do with those. We'll just put them up here on the shelf for now. So we have our two pieces of leather. I think all we need now are a couple planks, which we can just unpack a lumber stack here. A couple planks, and I think a steel pipe is what we need to make the bellows. Just double check here. Make bellows. Yeah, one steel plank, or one steel pipe and two planks. Alright. So let's go grab a steel pipe. We have, I think, what, five steel pipes now. We have three in here, and then two down here. I think that's about it, though. So we'll have four after making this uh, set of bellows. So we'll still need another six before we can make a water pump. I think we need ten in all to make a water pump. Let's go ahead and grab one. Make our bellows. Uh, do you need some space in your inventory to unpack this stuff? Should we drop some of these planks that are weighing you down? Just drop everything. We'll just pick up the two we need. Uh, let's make bellows. There we go. So now all we should need for our blast furnace are the red bricks. So let's see. Bellows, bellows. There we go. Let's put this down with the rest of the materials. So we've got our bellows, a lumber stack, I think we need the 12 planks from the lumber stack. Our pulley, thick rope, four wooden beams. I've got three buckets of concrete. Now we only need eight units of concrete, but if you remember, one of these wasn't quite full. So we could actually pick this one back up because we, we have two full ones. That'll be eight units right there. And we can put this extra bucket of concrete back on the ground here. And I think we did, no, we have a little bit of gravel left over, so we can still make a couple concrete ingots. And we do have a little bit of gravel left in the driveway, so we should have enough for another bucket of concrete still. Uh, so we can fill up this gravel bag with the rest of that gravel there. Uh, yeah, so we got pretty much all the materials. The wooden crate is there. Uh, it just looks like we need the bricks now, so... Let's uh, just double check how many bricks we'll need. A full pallet. And a full pallet of bricks. Is that 100? Hopefully we have enough um, uh, enough clay. Pack a pallet of bricks. 100. Yeah, we need 100. Okay, let's double check here. Maybe we don't have enough. Oh, no, we do. Five bags. That's 100. Okay, perfect. So if I unpack all five of these, that should give us the 100 clay. Hopefully we can carry it all. Not quite. Uh, we're going to have to drop some stuff here. Uh, well, we could drop the pack dog. That's not going to weigh much. What else can we drop here? We might just have to do this in... Uh, a bit at a time. Okay, so we'll do this batch of clay first. Head over to our kiln. 
and make red bricks. We'll make all 34. Okay. So we've got 35 red clay left. Uh, what are we out of? We're out of charcoal there, there, and this one's almost done. We'll have to toss these empty bags on some zombies to get rid of them. Uh, but we are quite thirsty and quite hungry, so let's break for the day. Get some uh, more water here. We'll drop off our empty bottles here. Just pick up some new ones. Since we have a good stash of water here. We'll eat a half an MRE. I think we'll just go to bed right now, since it's getting a little bit late. Come back in the morning, see what we need to finish making these bricks. What is it that we're missing here? Uh, let's see, we probably ran out of lighter fluid, so maybe if I pick up a bunch of notched wooden planks, that would help us for our ignition source. And maybe if I pick up some more branches, we can make some more charcoal. Pick all those that we can. Let's close that up. Make some more charcoal out of the tree branches. We'll make four more bags. Perfect. And make red bricks. Another 20. Okay, so how many red bricks? We got 54 right now, so we're over halfway there. Empty lighters. Okay, let's go drop those off. Pick up some more clay. All right, empty lighters can go in here. There we go. And so we got 15 clay here. We need, what is it, 46? Uh, so we'll need another 31. There is that on the ground, so we'll need another 20. Oh, there's 50 red bricks right here. Oh, never mind, we have enough. We have enough. Okay, so let's put... Actually, I didn't even see those red bricks down there. We'll drop that red clay off onto the shelf. Oh, I put it on the wrong one. Oh, well. Pick up these bricks. Perfect. We'll grab a pallet here. Grab one of those. Grab some thick rope. I think we need the thick rope to make the pallet of bricks. Yeah, one thick rope. Okay. Grab one of those. Head over to our other pile of bricks here. Uh, pack a pile of red bricks. Awesome. Pick that up. So this should be everything we need. Let's go over here. Uh, now. We're going to need here, let's pick up our pack dog. Because not everything is on the same tile there. So we'll go equip secondary. We're gonna need to be holding a few things. We need our mason trowel and our iron ingots as well from in here. I don't think we can access everything. So let's pick up the bellows. Pick up some of the lighter stuff here. All right. What does it say we're missing, guys? Oops. Got rid of our UI there. Alright, go to our favorites. Blast furnace. We are missing the 12 planks, so I just need to unpack this stack of lumber. That should give us the option now. There we go. Let's go ahead and craft our blast furnace. So now we'll be able to smelt down our bauxite. Uh, we'll be able to make steel and steel implements. Uh, we should be able to start uh, working towards making our stamp mill now. I think one thing we're going to need to do is make a uh, steam machine. 
because we'll need, we need to upgrade a steam machine to a steam hammer so we can make uh, steel beams, which we will need for the stamp mill, the improvised stamp mill. Uh, but to make the steam machine, we're going to need to find a thermometer. So I think the thermometer is the one thing that's holding us back now from eventually on down the road. If you follow the logic of all those uh, machines and craftables we'll be making, uh, the stamp mill is going to allow us to make our own gravel, which will allow us to make our own concrete, which I'm not sure we're going to need very much more of. But anyway... We now have a blast furnace, and it used up all the concrete, uh, but because it was on the ground, they're now just empty, so it looks like we've lost uh, those wooden buckets, but that's not a big deal. It looks like there's still concrete in them, but they are empty. It's kind of the same deal as these empty uh, things of charcoal on the ground here. So I don't think there's really any room in here to put the blast furnace. So we might end up moving everything out. Let's just pick up the uh, smelter. And the kiln. Maybe we'll move them upstairs. Uh, if I can find it here on the ground. Let's pick those up. Alright, so we have our blast furnace, our kiln, our smelter. Let's put this upstairs somewhere. Let's see here. We don't really have anywhere up here to put this stuff. No, that's our kind of churning room, our dairy room, that's our weaving. I guess we'll just put it on the back side. On this uh, extended porch area back here. Till we find a better home for them. So let's go. Let's see what order should we do this in. We'll do kiln first, maybe. Uh, we'll try and position these nicely so they aren't clipping. All right, kiln. Then we'll go smelter. And then we'll go blast furnace out here. Oh, that's a big boy. That is a beast. Alright, there we go, guys. And we got our sheet rope access in the middle. So that's fine. We'll build some uh, crates here. Do we have any extra planks on us? I don't think we do. Okay, we don't. So let's leave that for now. One other thing I wanted to take a look at is, was to see if we have any medium batteries because that is the size of battery we need for the metal detector that we have. And I guess, yeah, we do have a medium battery, nice. We can use the metal detector to find, um, I think we can find like steel pipes and sheets of metal and that kind of stuff. I was playing some multiplayer Project Zomboid with a subscriber this weekend who explained how this stuff worked. Alright, so insert battery, our uh, medium battery into our metal detector. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to try this out. Alright, so it's got a power bar there at the bottom. Let's give this a whirl. Search for metal. All you need is a metal detector and your work gloves. Let's see what we can find here. So I think it's kind of the same kind of stuff you can find in the junkyard. But we'll see. We'll see here. Uh, did you find anything? Some screws. I think that's what we found. Some, we didn't have screws on us. Okay, cool. How much power did that use? Uh, not very much. Okay. I wonder if this, does this deplete the power from the battery each use? Or is it uh, just constantly on and then over X amount of days the battery depletes? 
It still looks like a full charge. All right, so we've got our screws. We've got what else here? Did we find anything else? I think you can find weapons too. Uh, a large dead battery. I think that's what we found there that time. Okay, let's try again. What else will we find on the grounds of the farm? We should clean out our inventory so it's a bit easier to tell what we've found. Let's do that now. So I'll uh, edit here and come back uh, once I've searched a few more times and we'll go over what we found. Alright guys, it's been a few hours and we have found uh, quite a few things. Let's go over them here. We found 10 rounds for our, uh, our 10 9 mil rounds for our pistol, which is pretty cool. We found a broken bicycle, which is uh, uh, unexpected. I think we might be able to break this down. Um, let's see here. Let's, let's go over to our engineering tab. I think I heard we can break this down to get more steel pipes. But I'm not sure. Dismantle bicycle. We can get pipe from this. Okay, so we need pliers. Have we picked up pliers? I always wondered what you'd use pliers for. And we do have pliers. Okay, let's break down this uh, bicycle. Dismantle the bicycle and get some pipe. So that's pretty cool. Someone buried a broken bicycle at some point on the farm, apparently. Cool. Uh, we got uh, another dead battery. We got a dynamo. Cool. Some earrings. An extinguisher. Uh, that is very handy. That's the first extinguisher we found. Uh, so we're going to keep this over by the... Um, campfire. It looks like it's full. I assume that's what we can use to put out the fires. Uh, we found 10 nails. I think I had 10 on me already. We found a paper clip. There's the five pipe from the bicycle. A couple wedding rings or a couple silver rings. Some more screws. Some wire. A wrench. Very cool, guys. Okay, so we're going to continue uh, using the metal detector uh, probably in between episodes to see what, we can, what else we can find. So I'm going to drop off these materials. And we're going to take a look at the wall because there have been a few gunshots. So it will be good to uh, just double check, make sure the wall is fine. I haven't heard really any groaning or anything like that, so I assume we're in good condition. Uh, the pliers can go back in here our pipe now our pipe I think we just use that for making pipe bombs Not 100% sure uh, paper clip can go with fishing materials I'll put that away later earrings can go down here our dynamo and dead batteries can go uh, in with our other electronic items I guess the rest of this ammo can go away with our ammunition supplies we're going to take a look and see if we have enough iron to smelt down to make a anvil next. Alright, so paper clip can go in with that stuff. Go over to our electronics box. Dead batteries and our dynamo can go in there. And I'm going to keep our metal detector on us. Just put that in the pack dog for now. Pistol. Uh, so I guess i got to clear out some things from my bag. All right, let's put that away. Let's we'll put this stuff in the pack dog for now. So let's take a look at what we can smelt down for iron. So we got a crowbar that will give us three ingots. We need twenty ingots in all. So that's three. Hubcap will give us one. That's four. Spade will give us one. This is our extra spade. We should have our main spade over here. Yeah, we do. So we're going to smelt this down, so that's uh, five. I think we need two trowels to get one ingot. Let's look that up. 
blacksmithing, recycle iron. Uh, let's see here. Trial is two, right? So that's six. So we'll grab one, two. Tongs will be another one. Let's see here. Tongs, tongs, tongs. I know tongs were one, weren't they? Tongs, two, so it's seven. So we still need 13 more. One of you guys left me a comment saying that we actually did have some iron ore that we skipped over. Yeah, there we go. So we need nine more iron uh, things to get iron from. We probably have some extra pots and pans that we picked up. Let's see here. There's one. So we need eight more things. Get rid of these two kettles. Six more things. Uh, the muffin pan. We need three muffin pans. I want to keep the rest of this stuff. We could probably get rid of the wok. We only have one though. Alright, so six things. Or six um, more things of iron ore. I don't think there's anything else in here for us to break down. Too bad we can't break down the monkey wrenches. I don't think I saw wrenches in there. Did you guys see wrenches? Cycle iron. Uh, nail gun nails, we could get rid of those. Barbed wire, we have, we have wire we could get rid of. Box of screws, how many boxes of screws do we have? We have five boxes of nail gun nails, we could get rid of some of those. Uh, maybe we don't have any boxes of screws, doesn't look like it. No. I don't think I saw a wrench in there. I don't think so. Uh, we could get rid of the walk, that'd be one. Should we try our hand at some more mining? Let's uh let's eat some food here, we'll get to bed, check the wall in the morning. I think we'll just try try and find a few more iron ores in the mine. And uh, who knows, we might find some more garbage too, some more trash for our junkyards. So let's uh, get to sleep here. Sleep for eight hours. Get near the end of this episode. Haven't uh, obviously done any more work on the wall since getting back. On the uber wall. So I'll try and do some more work on that in between this and the next episode. Just take a look up here. Alright, the south wall is clear. Looking good. Let's hop over to the north wall. That seems to be where the uh, trouble area has been up until now. Oh, I guess I did uh, extend the wall between the last two episodes. Alright, so we do have some zombies out there. Uh, a few knocking. Uh, so maybe we could go clear a few zombies right now. We got our hunting knife. Let's go do it. Let's take care of it before it becomes a bigger issue. You could hear a few of them knocking. Look like there, there could be as many as a dozen out there. Uh, no one on this wall. We are getting some blooms on the trees, so I think spring has arrived. We're at February 24th. Almost at six and a half months. Uh, nothing to upgrade as far as our skills go. We have a dirty bandage that we should be taking care of. It's probably a healed wound by now. Well, we probably should take care of that. At least remove it. 
Okay, okay, let's <laughs> fall back. There's a few more there than I anticipated. Oh god, oh god. Another scratch. I swore I, I uh, stabbed there. Didn't connect though. Okay, fall back. Okay, fall back. Let's uh, bandage this. Remove that one. Let's see what the state of this one is. Yeah, that's all healed. All right, uh, let's go finish this fight. We got slight damage. We'll uh, eat a little bit of our MRE. We will have a bit of a painkiller. Oh, we're getting a few scratches here lately. Maybe getting a little careless with our zombie fighting. Uh, we're going to keep that open, just pop that over to the other corner. Although using the knife, I guess eventually you're going to push your luck and get scratched from time to time, always fighting in close quarters like that. Oh yeah, there are a few, few hanging out over here. There we go. Get those two out. Yeah, there are quite a few back here. All pretty docile though. Alright, take care of her. Oh no, that didn't work. Oh god. She popped into my vision out of nowhere. And there's another gunshot. Alright, those two. You, sir. Uh, we got a fast one here. Alright, well, I'll faster than the others. So try and drag them through the trees there, slow them down. You out. No one's behind us. Drag them through these trees. Try and pick them off one by one here. Health status is okay. Our pain has gone away with that uh, painkiller. Oh god. Screwed up that one. They all got bunched up again. Alright, let's try and hang them up on the corner maybe. Uh, come on, all right, let's go for a stab, slow you down. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, we got a fasten. We got a saunterer. There we go. So we should know fairly soon with this scratch if... Uh, Gonna be an issue for us. After 24 hours, we're not nauseous or queasy. I think we're, I think we're fine. A right, couple more. Hunting knife is uh, getting near the end of its life. I don't think we can repair this. Let's see if there's even an option here to repair this hunting knife. Oh, there is. Okay. It's a base game weapon, I guess. So we do have that option. Alright, our bandage isn't getting dirty. Which is a good sign. Let's just make sure anyone is back here. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, so the wall has been extended a little bit since the last time you guys saw. Got our first spiked barrier up there as well. We're pretty lucky we haven't been bitten yet in the uh, few times that they've ended up scratching us. We still have to go check out our traps sometime. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're clear. So, uh, I'll try to remember to head out that way next episode. We can check those traps. It's been a long time. It's probably been close to a month since we did that. Alright, what were we doing, guys? What were we doing? I don't even remember now. I don't even remember. We were doing something. Oh yes, we were gonna go mine for some more iron. 
That's right. We're on our way to making our anvil. So let's grab our spade. Well, we should keep our health thing open here so we can keep an eye on our bandage. We'll mine for the rest of today. Speed up time. Okay, we have a dirty bandage here. Let's remove that. Haven't found any iron yet. Got some limestone there. Scratch isn't bleeding, which is a good sign. And isn't infected either. So we'll just continue mining here. Oh, so we can mine with a trowel now. That's right. Uh, obviously, that would be slower. They added a couple other options for mining in the new, uh, in the recent Hydrocraft update, 4.1, which uh, actually just came out on Friday. Uh, so we can mine with a trowel and something else as well besides a spade. Uh, for varying uh, speeds of mining. But yeah, we'll keep mining with the spade. Alright, it's about 5.30 the next morning. I haven't come across any iron. We found some clay, some borax. Uh, that limestone, some more red clay, some stone, tar, worms, zombie bones, but no iron. Change out our bandage again. So what we'll do is we'll just smelt down what we have here. Uh, oh, I need another bandage. Let's clean up these ones. Clean all those. Okay, let's bandage that up again. So let's just head up uh, to our smelter. We'll grab these ingot molds, bring those up with us. All this charcoal. No, we got a couple charcoals here we can bring up. And I'll get rid of this empty one. Pick up, let's see here, tree branches. Uh, notch wooden plank. Hmm. We're gonna need another ignition source. Suppose I can make some more notched wooden planks, hey? Um, drill plank. Drill, 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 plank. Let's drill all these. Okay, perfect. Let's head up to the smelter. Eat some... MRE here. And a little bit more. Okay. So we're gonna make iron ingots out of the iron ore that we have. So there's four right there. Okay. We are going to recycle the two kettles that we're holding. That should be two more ingots. We are going to recycle the cooking pot that we have. One of the extra ones we can do without. Recycle the hubcap. We're going to recycle the two trowels. Okay, we're going to recycle... No, we're going to keep uh, one space. We'll recycle one. We'll keep the other. And we'll recycle that's the spade, the crowbar, get three ingots out of this. And it looks like we ran out of ingots, so let's just make... Oh! Where did we run out of charcoal? Maybe we ran out of charcoal. I think we ran out of charcoal, guys. Alright, well, we've got 13 ingots there. We can make one more, and we'll need uh, six more before we can make our anvil. But we are uh, made some good progress today. Uh, actually, we have these tongs that we can smelt down to, so I'll just drop two of those. I think that's the only thing we left to smelt down. So we need to make some more uh, ingot molds. I'll do that in between episodes as well as work on our wall a bit more. We'll come back next time, hopefully, um, have enough stuff to finish our anvil. We might need to make one more looting 
run down into Muldra to find some more maybe cooking pots and kettles. Uh, those kind of items. But yeah, that'll do it for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave me a comment below. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later. Thank you.